Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Retro Adventure Wednesday. It's me, BMX Legend, Decaf Jedi, aka Jess, and I'm excited tonight to be playing for the very first time ever Accolade's 1990 classic, uh, Less Manly in Search for the King. Even the punctuation in the title of this game is frustrating, so I can only imagine from here on out uh, what sorts of special experiences we're going to have this evening. But thank you so much for joining me. Good to see you, Ben Fitz here. Richard, great to see you. Metali, we've got Marjorie. We've got uh, got a great crowd. Uh, Save constantly. Uh, yes, this is uh, this is part of the strategy. I'm also going to be relying extensively um, on a uh, on a walkthrough here, in large part because. Uh, Richard has scared me to death of all the soft locks and potential dead ends that exist in <laughs> in uh, less manly. So we're going to do our best to uh, to avoid those and just take this as a nice smooth trip through the less manly experience. But uh, I'm really glad everybody's here. Uh, great to see you this evening, <laughs> Scrub Jay. You grew up without grew up about without knowing about less manly. You know, I remember seeing this advertised in magazines and i remember seeing this on like the shelves of software etc i remember like in 1990 holding this game in my hand and thinking to myself should i buy this game that kind of looks like a sierra game and every time i picked it up and thought that i always just ended up buying something else instead with my money so i came very close to owning less manly back in the day and thankfully dodged that bullet time and time again but now in an era of uh you know Games costing nothing on GOG and Steam. It's like, why not? Finally, uh, finally dive in. <laughs> but great to see you. Hey, Rob. Uh, let's jump in and just get to work here. Hey, thank you so much for the sub. 42 HD, 16 months. That is amazing. And never heard of this one. Um, yeah, it really is like a Leisure Suit Larry ripoff um, that forgets to be as funny as Leisure Suit Larry or as sexy or as interesting in general. Uh, I'd say that Leisure Suit Larry always nails those things, but this one is, uh, ooh, it's a step down from that. But let's jump in and just get to the action. All right, here we go. Let's see if my emulator actually wants to cooperate with me. And we will take it off pause. Yeah, here we go. Somebody better think of a way to increase this network's ratings, or you'll all be on the street. Don't worry, JB, we got it. Yeah, it's the greatest promo in the history of broadcasting. We'll sponsor a national contest. One million dollars to anyone who can find the king. Hmm, we'll get all the publicity, but we'll never have to pay. All right, this had better be good. Roll the spot. Look at these EGA graphics. Is this somebody's idea of a joke? Just a minor technical problem, JB. Still, get Lunkhead up here to fix this now. Hey, there's our guy. That's Les. Hi, Les. Could you come to the boardroom for a sec? The suits can't figure out how to work the VCR. Ah, get those corporate fat cats. It is kind of going a million miles per hour. Big money if we can find Elvis. I bet I could find the king if I really tried. <laughs> Barely find a way to work. I quit interrupting. Jeez, could be my big chance. I'll go find him on my lunch break. Ah, uh, accolade. Was he flossing in the video, kinda? I mean, Elvis did invent the floss. A lot of people don't talk about that, but that's absolutely the case. We're on, we're on kind of a king quest. That's exactly right. I'm a little deep out. <laughs> we are on a king quest. Like calling the Super Bowl the big game, it's exactly that. The fact that he's never referred to as Elvis is really wild. So here we are. So notice this interesting cutout view. I'm assuming that that is a wall that we're seeing through, and they've simply chosen to frame the uh, the image 
uh, in this way, sort of breaking down a fourth wall. <laughs> you may be able to see through the walls, but less can't. All right, so we're already on some sort of strange meta level here with the uh, the narrator. Besides, only the suits get to see that area of the world. Okay. Dim bulb reminds you of someone near and dear to your heart. You can't take the light bulb. Eat light bulb. Eat the light bulb? Les doesn't like to eat things of that color and texture. <laughs> Find ways to screw yourself in this room alone. Open files. Open file cabinet. Look, cabinet. Was once full of important documents until you took over this office. I <laughs> got him. Look, radio. The Dallas said to your favorite talk show. Listen, did she just pull out a giant hand mirror to look at herself? Welcome back to Harry Ding Live. <laughs> oh gosh, Harry Ding Live. Bobby from New York. Go ahead, caller. You're on the air. Harry, you won't believe who I saw this morning. The King! There you have it, folks. The third sighting this week. <laughs> oh, no! What's just happened? Um, Mike has redeemed a brand new point redemption here at the channel. I'm really excited about this one. And I basically stole the concept from the folks over at Adventure Tuesday. Shout out to uh, Ben, Grace, and Sarah. Um, they have recently been going back and reading old live journal posts and Grayson's reviews on Letterboxd and fun things like that. So I decided to go back to my blog that I used to write back in the mid to late uh, 2000s, uh, where I would mostly write about pop culture and review various things. So this is uh, our new feature, Jess reads a review from his old blog. So I'm going to take you back to June 5th, 2008. And this is my review from my blog of Weezer's recently released at the time Red Album. <clears throat> so this is from June 8, 2008. Good Lord, what happened? Yes, I've officially become one of those annoying fans who insist that favorite band's old stuff is infinitely superior to whatever they're doing now. In the case of Weezer, I worshipped at the altars of the Blue Album and Pinkerton back in the 90s, but I have no idea what's going on with the Red Album. Whether it's self-indulgent reflections on celebrities, Pork and Beans, the greatest man that ever lived, a PM to Eddie Rabbit, Nirvana, and frontman Rivers Cuomo's other favorite musical acts, Heart Songs, sing-songy melodies, Troublemaker, ill-advised tracks written and or sung by Cuomo's bandmates, or an endless series of sad, bad Mother Goose rhymes, pretty much every song, this album is a complete mess. Is the Red Album supposed to be bad in an ironic, tongue-in-cheek kind of way? Or is it just plain bad? Don't ask me. From the listener's standpoint, though, is ironically bad really that much of an improvement over an album that just turned out genuinely awful by accident? <laughs> so, there you have it. It's uh, it's important that everyone on the internet have strong opinions about Weezer, and there was mine. <laughs> Oops. Thinking Weezer down pick finally somebody. The desk won't open. The drawer might. Oh, pop, pop, pop. Open drawer. Open. Look. Drawer. Fake wood grain laminate filled up. Look in drawer. Inside the drawer is a thermos and a lunch bag. Thermos? Isn't that a brand name? Shouldn't that be capitalized? And... Oh, <laughs> look. I was going to say and. Like, that's how text parsers ever work. Hey, Sheldorn, I kind of wish I'd forgotten it existed. Right, no, this is brand new to me, too. <laughs> Mostly new of Weezer from the uh, Windows 95 CD. Sawbell, that's their best work. Okay, let's see. Look, Thermos. Thermos keeps hot things hot and cold things cold. But how do it know? <laughs> But how do it know? Folks, how do it know? Thermos keep hot things hot and cold things cold? How it know? <laughs> how do it know? 
<laughs> That's some great writing. Okay. Today's date is circled. You've been working at the station two years as of last Thursday. Your probationary period is finally over. Look, phone. The nine, six, and seven digits are worn off the buttons. What's that joke? I don't get it. It's a great sentence. Okay. This is some Leisure Suit Larry style music, huh? Phil Thermos. What do you think I want to fill the thermos with? Fill thermos with water. That might be difficult. Hey, thanks for the host. <laughs> thanks for the host, Chunky Code Monkey. Let's see. Use thermos with water fountain. Huh? Turn on water fountain. Did you run that one by me again? Use fountain. Use, use. Hey, this ain't just another half dome game. Oh man, shots fired at Sierra. Drink water. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Burp. Use thermos. Yeah. Fill thermos fountain. Ooh. Okay. You come at the king, you best not miss. Thank you, Ben. Let's see. Get water. Figure out how. Get water with... With thermos. Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> huh. Uh, oh, that might be the key. Use thermos with bubbler. Oh, open the... <laughs> ah, ah! Open. Fill thermos. Fill thermos with water! Gee, I'm glad I remembered I almost forgot to fill my thermos today. Oh, my goodness. How do Parser know? <laughs> <laughs> Richard, thank you. Uh, it's a death if you don't do it. That's wonderful. Of course it's a death. Okay. Let's go see our boss. Look at those big keys. Look, screen. Look, TV. Locally, Colonel Bob's Traveling Circus opens today. Although tickets have been sold out for weeks. Oh, save. Okay. The King. Oh, wait. Correspondence report that one Lila Levito, longtime friend of the King and current close companion of Mr. Fabulous, has been spotted poolside in Las Vegas. When asked for a prior relationship with the King, would help her achieve a quick victory in the contest, Miss Levito replied, What? Huh? Get out of my son. Okay. How do we save? Pal. Save. Boss. Okay. Oh, boss. Get back to work, young fella. Ask for raise. Lila libido. That's right, yeah. Larry's women were way too subtle. Said to Mr. Burnbaum. Oh, uh, excuse me, Mr. Burnbaum. Who the hell are you? Uh, it's me, sir. Les Manley. I've been working here for two years now. Oh, sure, Fess. Why do you... Cousin Fess, definitely a name. Um, I was just wondering about my performance review. Yeah, what about it? Um, I've never had one. So? Gee, Mr. Burnbaum. Stella said you gave her a raise every three months. I get one every day. Ha <laughs> ha. Excuse me? Uh, nothing, Ness. All right, just a minute. Miss Hart, could you bring in the personnel file for this young fella? Yeah, sex joke. There it is.
<laughs> oh my gosh, the expression! Oh wow. <laughs> you sneaky devil. Got him while he wasn't looking. I mean, while he was looking. Chastise, boss. Poor Chastise isn't needed in this adventure. <laughs> you say, uh, Richard, that trying to steal them without him being distracted first is worth, worth doing? We'll do that real quick. What? They gave me a crown for the loading? Get keys. Careful, you might have seen you take them. Trying to swap the keys, huh? Your boss usually deals with problem employees like you by pressing a secret button on the floor under his desk. Aw, oh, beans. What a shame. You're doing so well. Progress is being made. All right. Well, there you have it. Now we can see, yeah. This is great. Okay. Ask for rays. Okay, we all remember how that went. By the way, welcome everybody. Glad you could join me in that. This is a great crowd. You bit the green weenie. Yeah, yeah, that's a phrase people say. What even is this game? No death ditty is weird. Like the continuing of the background music is a strange choice. Oops. <laughs> Here comes the leering. You bit the green weenie. Okay, look how janky his walk cycle is. <laughs> that is the choice. No music change because his death shall not be mourned. Unlock door. Hey, I think we're getting ready to... Your heart flutters at the sound of the unlocking mechanism. His posture's atrocious. So we're getting ready, I think, to go into a very nice closet. So prepare yourselves. Wow, that is a nice closet. Look, closet. <laughs> hey, thank you, G-Funk, for the follow. Welcome, man. Hope you're doing well. Nice closet. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, hi, Barry. Same thing with me. First thing I do when I show up to work, get those keys just out on the little uh, key display rack that I keep on the front of my desk. <laughs> All right. Look, toolbox. A Sears Craftsman. <laughs> nice product placement. Look in toolbox. Inside the toolbox is a reporter's ID. Good ID. Look ID. Now you'll put a reporter or someone posing as one. Oh, very clever. Very, very clever. Let's see. I think that's all we need in here. I believe... That's exactly where you'd expect to find something like a reporter's ID. It would be in a uh, toolbox. Sears. Yeah, I know. The punctuation on Sears is really something else. <laughs> I'm glad you can be here, g -Funk. Welcome, man. It's great to have you. Always glad to see someone from the Space Quest historian crew. Okay. And that's closet bigger in your office. I have 60 out of 500. Wow. I'm doing great. Okay, y'all. This part is kind of bananas. I know about it <laughs> in large part because of uh, reading uh, Richard's wonderful uh, review of uh, of this game from way back in the, uh, the day. But uh, let's just see how this unfolds. Let's let this one play out. So, look, guard. Oh, you suddenly remember that your original lunch plans include picking up some spare parts. Now, what was that price? So this is part of the copy protection. In the GOG version, somehow it's been just cracked. So all you have to do is click there. Oh yeah, and one of these too. And that works. But then again, finding the king is a little more important. Okay, look, guard. 
Little Z's being me sleeping. <laughs> okay, I like that. That's actually a pretty good joke. Eat guard. Eat Dave? Les doesn't like to eat things of that color or texture. It raises some real questions. Um, so, ooh, car. Now, you see how he's sleeping? What if I said, look, dream? You wouldn't imagine that the game not mentioning these dreaming or the fact that just in the metaphysical plane on which we live, you can look and see someone else's dreams. All of that would make you think, what's about to happen? But let's look at his dream and pay close attention. The following dream sequence may contain some material deemed unsuitable for all family members. As viewing said sequence is not necessary for completion of the game, parental guidance is suggested. So everyone put your kids to bed. We're going to watch this guy's dream. Fishing, turkey, Sunday, car, ice cream, island, money, train entering, hot dog, lips, beheaded woman, naked woman, a no leisure suit Larry, the act of coitus, and a ruler? <laughs> there's your leisure suit Larry cameo. Um, wow, yeah, right? I don't know why there's a beheaded woman in the middle of that dream sequence. <laughs> this is the cap after hours, you're right. So, um, yeah, we just, I mean, this couldn't get more ridiculous than looking and seeing someone's dream, could it? What if I did this, though? I can't imagine what you want with someone else's dream, but it's yours now. You have a thermos, a lunch bag, a master key, a reporter's ID, and a dream. Ladies and gentlemen, less manly. <laughs> and that will now be part of our inventory. We have stolen this dream like some sort of Freddy Krueger-esque character. And uh, we're good to go now. So there you have it. <laughs> we just took someone's dream out of their body. We're the dream catcher. Okay. Yeah, this game mostly doesn't look too bad, to its credit. I know that's damning with faint praise. Look, sewer. Look great. Look great. No? Oh, well. Oh, there is a credit written on the fence. Look at that. Designed by... Oh, there it is. Steve Cartwright. It, looks, it does look Amiga-y. This palette is definitely... Very much that sort of washed out Amiga tone. Just props of this adventure. <laughs> Look. Poster. The sign reads, Colonel Bob's Traveling Circus, coming soon to your area. Well, looks like it's already here. Okay, so there's a little less down at the bottom. Is that like a tar pit? A classic circus tar pit. Walking doesn't always work smoothly in this game, which is kind of unfortunate. Okay, so that's actually an exit from the screen there. Who doesn't love a circus? Look, trailer. Traveling home of Colonel Bob. Or if he's like a real colonel, like the military rank. Or if he's one of those Kentucky colonels that, you know, is more of just like an honorary thing. Colonel Bob is Sergeant Pepper's superior. Possible. Laminadton. Absolutely. Knock on door. Faint sound of a zipper. Ugh. I'm coming less. Oh. How do you know your name? <laughs> Maybe he has his own hemp book. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, talk, man. Oh, excuse, um, excuse me. Boy, I say, boy, I'm a busy man. Yes, sir, Bob. No time to sit here at John with you, boy. Okay. Ask for a job. <laughs> Gee, sir, um, Colonel, I'd really like to see more of your circus. Boy, I say, boy, 
I sure could use some help clean up around them dire critters. I'd be happy to give it a try. I'm here for another handless puzzle. Okay, I'll do a real good job, and I suppose you can get all of French free tick. Ooh, man. Gee, thanks. All right, let's clean up after some critters. Now, this scene is really just symbolism for the entire game. Look, dung. Look, poop. Look, shit. I can't decide whether to treat that as a noun or a verb. Hmm. Look. Pieces. Just look. It's possibly unwise to get too close to the hind end of an elephant. Still, the worst elephants could do to you is what life does to you every day. Yep, it's elephant poop. Yeah, at least they haven't, uh, haven't kicked me to death or trampled me. Okay, get to work. We're shoveling that one elephant's poop behind the other elephant to make the people who work here think that one elephant's pooping a whole lot and the other isn't pooping at all. That is uh, that is Les's master plan here. And yes, Richard uh, points out something really great. This will just continue until the end of time. We would all be dead and turned into skeletons someday. Um, and this animation would still be going. Um, the, you just eventually have to stop. Yeah, just walking right through it. I think the one elephant's constipated, so you can get the elephant laxative. That's actually not a bad puzzle design. I'm I'm on this plan now, Thracknor. Try control out delete. Yeah. Drop shovel. <laughs> well, we did it. Gus has performed a job. Even leaving screens is a little bit weird. Coming soon, decap Jedi shovel quest. I mean, they're shovel night already. I feel like I'd be infringing on their uh, their IP. Oh man, boy! I said, boy, you did a mighty fine job. Get paid. Ask for pay. Ask for money. Oh man. Hmm. Draw up the lead. Oh, wait, pay me. Maybe that's it. Pay me. Get that bread. Roll that dough. Make them smackeroonies. I mean, come on, parser. Give me something. Oh, wait, ask for a ticket. Ask for a ticket. Did we know that we wanted a ticket? There you go, boy. Y'all done a good job. Form union sees the means of production. All right, here we go. Oh, he offered me one for scooping the poop. So while we're at it, you know, earlier I mentioned this game has a few references to Leisure Suit Larry. Um, one we saw earlier during the dream where that guy who was having a sexy sex dream about sex and food and violence toward women and other things like that. Um, also had the uh, Leisure Suit Larry with like the Ghostbustery no line over him. Um, everyone, again, put your kids to bed, close your eyes, uh, because we also, anytime you are, uh, you know, just crass enough to tap a word like this into the parser, says, no, you're confusing less with that other guy, which I assume is uh, is another uh, Leisure Suit Larry reference. Oh, wow. If Larry was in the dream. Does that mean he's currently in your pocket? That's a good point. It looks like Leisure Suit Larry 2 Larry, which means we may be carrying all of Leisure Suit Larry 2 in our pocket. Okay. Look. This spot doesn't look too interesting. Nice try, dummy. This spot doesn't look too interesting. Need the one in the top middle. Oh wait, did we find something? Hey, it's the world's strongest man. Look, oh man, that's 
Luigi Pastrami. Strongman by day, even stronger by night. <laughs> now, yeah, Richard is really trying to speed this along, which, God bless him. <laughs> Luigi Pastrami is a pretty great name, and, you know, very authentically Italian. Hulk man. I, I don't feel us so strong today. Hey, speedy agent. You love this game as a kid. Well, I'm glad uh, you could be here. Yeah, does this guy have corned beef sandwiches? That's the question. Hulk man. Nobody has a subtle name. I don't feel us so strong today, Lens. Uh, Lens is more. Give <laughs> Luigi. Oh, wait, I should save. So this game is out to get me. This is what we all need to remember, is that this game is out to get us, and at any given time, could spring a trap. This game is out to get me. The second most famous video game, Luigi. There has to be another more famous Luigi than this one, after the main Luigi. I wish I could get baseball. Where baseball is a need in this game? Get ball. Look. Wait. Go ahead, let's try and lift it. Okay. Don't threaten me at the good time. Lift weight. Right, Les. Do you know what wrists sound like when they snap in two? Yeah, I mean, at some level, the backgrounds and the environments are interesting and sort of framed in a neat way. I like the use of the foreground of the milk and toss or whatever you call that thing at a, at a carnival. But then not letting you look at stuff is uh, is sort of a bummer. Celery, they sound like celery. Okay. Mm. The world's smallest man. Mm. He ain't singing, so it must not be over. Look, man. He prefers to be called Helmet. Look, Helmet. It's not how big he is, it's how you use him. <laughs> Talk, man. Oh, wait. Okay, I will call him Helmet, if that's what it takes. If you want to talk about something, just ask him. Ask about circus. Said to helmet. It's okay, I guess. It's really not exciting for me anymore. Ask about dream. Oops. Ask about dream. I wish I had one. Seems like there's nothing in the future but more of the past. So that's right, kids. This is happening. We we found a booth with uh, Ben Shapiro in it. And now we're going to give him a dream. Said to Helmet. Um, all right, here we go. Give dream. I mean, at least that's constructive parser feedback. At first I was frustrated, but that is the most precise, like, parser feedback I think I've ever received. So, I'm not going to be too mad. Give dream to Helma. Yay! Now I've got something to look forward to. Hmm. I think you've made a new friend, Les. Get Helma. Remember, Les, it's not always size that counts. What even is the logic in this game? What is the humor? Why are there so many games this era that I thought were ever funny? No, I mean, this is the problem. There's nothing worse than a game that thinks it's funny and isn't. And Less Manly is definitely in that category. Okay. So now, uh, if, if you want a quick recap, we are carrying a, a human being in our inventory. It's hard to bother me so much. Uh, okay, let me, let me consult a walkthrough here and see how we're doing. See if we've messed anything up. Okay, we shoveled. 
Okay. Cheating. So much cheating. Hey, old grumpy mama. Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're doing well this evening. Welcome in, everyone. Ah, oh, human beings. This spot doesn't look interesting. Got it. Ah, here we go. You just had to get a little bit closer. Uh, let's see. Madame Zarmuska. Look. Heart. I don't see the maid's car here. Oh, nicely done. Hey, old grumpy mama. <laughs> look future. Get future. Um, uh, look. Trailer. Look. Here she is, folks. The mysterious, the mystical Madame Zarmuska. Do you have the courage to face your destiny? Madame Zarmuska knows all. Tell some. Enter if you dare. Oh, wait. I did, I'm sorry. I missed the sign that said. What was it? <laughs> what was it? Ball readings and palm jobs? Was that what the sign said? Oh my goodness. What has my life become? <laughs> and I'm dragging all of you perfectly good people down with me. Uh, you don't deserve this. None of us do. <laughs> there you have it. Uh, ball readings and palm jobs. This is very old for now that you mention it. Okay. Talk. Woman. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you, Chucky Code Monkey. Look. Look. The enchanting Madame Zarmuska. Alluring eyes, full lip whips. Currently, I'm learning from Universal's remake of The Wolfman. Huh? Look. Candle. Candles are made of a white sticky substance. Uh, game. Probably an old pet. Yeah, that's pretty gross. It's, uh, it does not cost one gold coin to see Madame uh, Zamuska. Oh, that's a big oof. Thank you all for, for oofing this up for me. That is a full-on oofa doofa. Look, crystal ball. Smooth, round, and perfectly shaped. Just like the madam. Okay. All right. Ask about future. You'll be going on a long journey. Ask about future. I see a search. Ask about future. I see a king. Is that Elvis? Is that King Graham? Is that old King Graham from King's Quest IV? I think it is. And I'm pretty sure that that is, uh, that's a King Graham cameo. I'm calling it. That's Graham. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when you're making one of your company's first real adventure games, like constantly shouting out the competition uh, and not doing it in a clever way is uh, is questionable. Ask about future. I love puzzles where you just have to do the same thing a whole bunch of times in a row. Sorry, wrong king. <laughs> Ask about future. I see a violent ending. Ask about future. Peace and tranquility. Ask about future. But it ain't over till it's over. Ask about future. You know, it, it took me a long time to uh, make the King's Quest connection to Thracknor. All right. The rest is up to you, Les. Ask about future. Hey, Scrub J, thank you so much for the resub. I'm happy to suffer through a game like this. 
I like playing games I know aren't going to be great. I always hope to find some sort of like nugget of joy in a game that uh, that maybe isn't the best. And uh, we've certainly found some real nuggets so far. So uh, specifically over there on the uh, elephant scene. <laughs> oh, it's the least I can do. Um, all right, let's save. <laughs> save. Um, I want a different slot. Future. Okay. Way better game than Beverly Hillbillies. I mean, it is a game. Um, so normally in a situation like this, if any of you have all ever been to like a, a fortune telling scenario, it's traditional to, uh, to kiss the fortune teller after she's done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Marjorie. Great reactions from a happy guy, even while games are trying to destroy him. Okay, kiss woman. Too bad I'm only a dream. Dream, 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 dream. <laughs> Get wax. And now, again, if you didn't do that, you can't win the game. You're you're locked out. You're soft locked from the end. You can just touch her also. Touch her or kiss her works. Get wax. Now you're left with a situation you're familiar with. White sick. <laughs> I can't read it. I can't. You see what it says. You all see what it says. All right. Um, now, yeah, big oof. What have I done to deserve this? Hey, there's a Beverly Hillbillies cameo right now. <laughs> Thank you, Todd. Hey, Steph. Um, oh, yeah. I'm a little too fat. Yeah, he must just be into candle making. It makes sense. Maybe he ices a lot of cakes. I don't know. Um, pet lizard. Also, this is an important part of the game. Touching the lizard seems to trigger a hidden mechanism. <laughs> Look, lizard. Probably an old pet. Look, card, resurrection card, entitles the bear, that means you, Les, to one free resurrection. Get card. There are no clues at all to this. Like, I don't even know for sure that you could tell that's card. I wonder if get paper would be successful there. Get a death free card. Yeah, basically. Get ball. Can't take the crystal ball. Rub ball. Feels just like a crystal ball. Eat ball. Eat the crystal ball? Les doesn't like to eat things of that color or texture. Leave. Ball reading and palm jobs. Is that all we need to do here? Oh no, I guess we have to do something with the, uh, with the world's strongest man, probably. Okay. Let's go back to Luigi Pastrami. Oh, is there a test of strength machine? Where's that? Oh, there it is. I see it. Ah, I'm stuck. Okay, save first. Thank you. That's exactly what I was looking for. Yeah. Oh. Get popcorn. Get popcorn. Get popcorn. Be more specific. I see the game and the test of strength. Is it talking about the game that I'm literally playing? Less manly? Play test. Play strength. Play test o strength. Not strong enough to hold the hammer. Maybe you should be more careful where you were going. Ah, this old gag. Man, I got strong.
Really? She did get through that experience fine. Fortunately, not everything you'll need was with you. Not only that, the helmet burned up during re-entry. It doesn't game over us? Oh man, S, yeah, S in the chat for helmet. So that is definitely game over. Like, there's, there's no winning at that point. At least I don't think so. Yeah, it did sort of tell us for soft blocks, so that's, that's admirable. Okay. Let's go back over here and get the popcorn. Careful, don't get stuck between your teeth. <laughs> Thank you, Richard. I appreciate you. Point out uh, how deeply flawed this game is. It's made the world's leading expert on how deeply flawed this game is. Luigi, the world's strongest man, catatonic on stage. If you stay here long enough, maybe he'll blink. It seems that beneath that impressive exterior lies a troubled mind. He sits, clutching his rosin and staring solemnly at the ground. Ask about depression. Said to Luigi. Luigi says nothing. <sighs> Look, Barbell. I know, I know. Oh. Uh, Luigi. Uh, I don't feel so strong. Here, take some wax. Give wax to Luigi. Ah, uh, thank you, my sunny boy. Just know what I've been with you for. Now I can get to on with my show. Hey! Oh no, your pastor and grandmother were here. Oh no. <laughs> Welcome in, Grayson. Um, yeah, I was canceled like 30 minutes ago. It's been rough. Um, why did he want wax? Is there a clue there that we should have gotten? Like, I talked to him and looked at him. I don't know what a strong man wants with wax. Why do you want wax? Oh, wax for his mustache. He's droopy. The wax perks up his mustache. Wow. That's really the puzzle? Did he say anything about having a droopy mustache? Smooth them facts. <laughs> That's it, epic state of fame. Well, I should have tried to give him helmet. I always forget that I'm carrying a human being everywhere I go. Yes. Get rosin. From here? Get rosin. From here? Get rosin. While Luigi is preoccupied, you quietly slip the rosin into your pocket. Okay, this is going great. Really making excellent progress. Remember, our whole purpose in this game is to uh, find Elvis so we can win a uh, prize. So I'm pretty sure that Les's job in this game canonically, if you're a big fan of like the Les Manly cinematic uh, gaming universe, um, his job is to be a video cassette rewinder at that television station, which isn't that also Larry's job at the porn company in Leisure Suit Larry 5? Like, isn't he also a VHS tape rewinder? Is that just like the funniest joke there is? He degauses cassettes. Okay, not exactly the same. That makes me feel a little better. A little better. That makes me feel an iota better. Also delivers coffee. Okay, let's see here. So far, so good on this game. I mean, been hilarious. It's just been really good stuff. <laughs> We're having a great time. Great time. See, it says it right there. Hmm. Oh, he's thinking about steak. Can I get that dream? 
You're already holding the dream. Uh, no, I'm not. I gave it away. Hello. You bit the green weenie. What a shame. Oh, it doesn't have a custom... Doesn't even have a custom message. Boy, that less with crossbones would make a good emote. Or at least a good sticker, right? There aren't any... Uh... You gave it the helmet and you're holding the helmet. That's true. I guess I'm one, one degree removed from that dream. You check your uh, inventory. Yes, speedy agent. I'd be happy to. And feel free to hint me through it. Let's see here. Let's get back inside. Look. Inventory. Oh, wait. Inventory. You have a thermos, a lunch bag, a master key, a reporter's ID, a free ticket, helmet, a resurrection card, popcorn, and rosin. Have we opened our lunch? Open bag. Look in bag. Oh, get jar. The jar is in the lunch bag. Open jar. Look, jar. A jar. A knit. It's a knit jar. Knit jar. You're not their trainer. You're not their real dad, Paul. So what you need uh, you have what you need to preserve helmet um oh no put helmet in jar done really I just murder helmet oh no Should I have done that? <laughs> All right. There you have it. Hmm. Let's see here. How to get past some cats that we have no reason to believe we need to get past. Let's see. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So, this is one of those classic situations. Does he survive the trip if he's in the jar? Now, that's a good question. I feel like if I were put in a properly sized giant jar of peanut butter and shot several thousand miles through the atmosphere, my odds of survival would be greater than without the jar of peanut butter. <laughs> the cats are carnivores, yes. Throw popcorn to lion. Throw popcorn. See, if I eat this, it'll just get stuck between my teeth. I know, I'll just leave it here for the nice kitty. Lucked out again, Les. Cats love popcorn. He's thinking about steak, but I'm like, wouldn't you like a low-calorie, air-popped treat instead? Is that the king? Oop. Look, king. Nope, still not it. Look, king. Finding the king is the general idea. Look, man. Look, man. You recognize the star of the show, Daredevil Ordinaire. <laughs> the world's greatest... Acrophobic acrobat, Frederick Von Leap, the Flying Leap. Talk acrobat. <laughs> Oops, talk oh, man. Fred's real name is Frederick Von Leapov. He speaks <laughs> no anglais. Hit okay. Trying to steal the cape off a man's back. Ask about cape. Then to Alana. Alana says nothing. Talk to woman. Alana isn't a great conversationalist. In fact, she's rather shallow. <laughs> Take that, Alona. Kinda like that tank. Hmm. 
Look, hang. But try to shallow. Kinda like the assistant. Get water. I see the drinkable water and the tank of water. How the game of the worst vocabulary in Space Quest 3. Is Space Quest 3's parser that bad? Honestly, don't recall it being, but it could just be the rose tinted glasses I look at that game through. Okay. So, I guess <laughs> what we're going to do here, we just picked up that resin, and I guess he needs resin to, you know, do his acrobatics and not fall off the trapeze or the look familiar, don't they? Or the ladder or what have you. Oh, story time with Jess. We're going to put all this on hold. Um, so, Todd 8 Step uh, has redeemed story time with Jess. Thank you. Um, I'm trying to think of a story where my own life has intersected with the king. Uh, how Elvis has made an impact in my life. I can say this. Uh, here's one. Back in college, um, I was uh, I was involved in our student activities organization. So a big part of my job was planning student activities and hosting events. And quite frequently, that would mean like I would be given a microphone and an opportunity to step on stage to host talent shows and you know other sorts of things of that sort. And because. I was a raging egomaniac. I didn't like to go on stage without some sort of entrance music. Um, and I had lots of opportunities to use entrance music through the years. And one of the ones that I went to most frequently was from Elvis's Aloha from Hawaii television uh, special. It was uh, the opening track from the, from the soundtrack of his Aloha from Hawaii uh, performance. Which was, um, thus, I'm sorry, also spake Zarathustra, uh, the 2001 Space Aussie theme, or Ric Flair's theme, that would then segue into Elvis singing, uh, CC Rider, uh, which is a fantastic entrance song, and it also already has crowd noise pumped in under the music, so it would get the crowd all hype when I came in. And it was uh, something I really enjoyed, entering uh, small crowds of people, microphone in hand, while, uh, while Elvis uh, sang me on the stage. So there you go. Uh, yeah, Ric Flair uh, also uses the 2001 thing. Yes. <laughs> Which, that's what that song was composed for, of course, we all know. Um, yes. Okay. So we're going to give him resin. I mean, if Ric Flair had been in 2001, it would have been more exciting. First of all, I mean, he's going to style and profile. That's his thing. I can just see how, like, you know, it's like, I can't open the pod bay, bay doors, Rick. And Ric Flair's like, woo! To beat the man. <laughs> no, sorry, to be the man, you got to beat the man. I mean, like, the whole Ric Flair thing. Wait. Wait. Rosin, not resin. <laughs> Give rosin to man. Fred accepts the rosin, removes his cape, and prepares for his death-defying leap. Roizen. Ah, oh, beans, did we just do a murder? I think we just did a murder for no raisin. Um, uh, look, Fred. The former Frederick Von Leapov. I'm afraid we did a murder, gang. Ah, oh, beans. We did a murder. But, on the other hand, free cake. Well, since Fred won't be needing it any longer, I suppose it's okay. Where's Officer Bonds when you need him? Great question. Sorry isn't needed in this adventure. Uh, love means never having to say I'm sorry, and so does less manly. All right, well, puzzle solved. Sorry is very much needed in this adventure. Sometimes the walking just doesn't work in the game. <laughs> Crowd out there. It's a awful time spitting that circus of this music. Absolutely. 
Murder does mean free stuff. I mean, that actually carries over to the real world too. It's an underreported bonus that goes with uh, <laughs> that goes with murder. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna read my walkthrough for a minute. So let's see. Go to the bus station. Okay, this looks like it's gonna get a little bit hairy. Let's go, Les. Let's get out of here. We've had enough fun. Sam and Max, this is not... Yeah, I mean, at some level, they share that common DNA of, like, a journey through Americana, including a stop at the carnival, but boy, this is no Sam and Max. Speaking of which, I think next week's game for Retro Adventure Wednesday is going to be Sam and Max Save the World. I think I'm going to hop into... Telltale's uh, first Sam and Max season. I've never played it before. I'm a Sam and Max fan. I'm looking forward to it. So, uh, yeah, expect Sam and Max in the near future. You should see another Les Manly walk off stream. I did not notice that, but it's certainly possible. Okay. Reverse angle. <laughs> Why did it tell me it's a reverse angle? Was that a joke or something that was actually supposed to help me? Okay, now I've wondered if this is a soda machine before. Unfortunately, this machine is out of your microwave popcorn. Maybe it's just a popcorn machine? I don't know. Um, I mean, there you have it. It's that's It's out of my popcorn. Excuse me. We're going to mail this small man we've been carrying around. Helmet has been mailed. <laughs> no address. I don't even know if we have postage. But the important thing is, helmet has been mailed. Any questions? We don't even know where we're going next. Nope. No, we don't. But we know Helmet has been mailed. Eat the garbage? Les doesn't like to eat things of that color or texture. I did in the multitude of other methods we came up with not count, but that does. Helmet's safe with the U.S. Post. Now, Speedy agent, that's exactly right. We should not discount the U.S. Postal Service. Um, oh, goodness. So I think I'm going to go up here and knock on this door. What have I done to deserve this? <laughs> hey, Nick. Welcome in. This game is awful so far, but we're having a good time, and that's all that matters. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Ding dong. <laughs> that says it all, folks. Knock on door. Ding dong. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. <laughs> Thanks, sound of footsteps. You're who I hope you are, proof it or get lost. Wait, what? Okay. Say. Door. This game just described itself. Ring doorbell. Okay, actually, no, that's funny. I take it back. That is pretty good. Um, that That's not bad at all. Nick, you missed us um, entering into the dreamscape and stealing someone's dream that they were currently having, taking it as an inventory item, and then giving it to someone else to inspire them to keep on going. So that's what you missed. Okay, the ding-dong knock-knock reversal is actually very good. I take back everything I said. Show ID. 
Oh, you must be the reporter that I've been expecting. Come on in. Yeah, that's right. No, we have no way of knowing why we're here or why she wants to see. Oh, wow. Look, the stale scent of man trap eau de toilette thickens the air. Pictures clutter the wall, many with lipstick smudges on the faces. <laughs> Exit game and boot up quest for glory three. Look doily. Sit. Sit in the chair. That's not the best place to sit. Oh, is there a scarf? From here? From here? Oh, the scarf. This scarf. Ah, you bit the green weenie. What a shame. You were doing so well. Gang, we bit the green weenie again. Okay. A security system that reads your mind, yes. Okay. Look, lady. A little gray never hurt anyone. Mm. Sit. Sit, couch. Since you seem to be nowhere fast, you decided to make yourself comfortable. I have to have a seat, ma'am. Oh, wait, I'm not doing my last voice. Uh, mind if I have a seat, ma'am? Uh, go right ahead, young man. Make yourself comfortable. He looks deeply worried. Look how he's staring out at all of us. Talk woman. Um, thanks for letting me in, ma'am. I don't need to be so formal, honey. Just call me Bobby. Besides, I'm so glad the press finally sent someone over to talk to me. Well, er... Uh, just relax. Make yourself comfortable. Besides, you're kind of cute. Well, I, um... Oh, yes, about the scarf. You can see how much it means to me. Now, let's begin. Ask about scarf. Said to Bobby, The king gave it to me at his last concert. It has magical healing powers, as I'm sure you're aware. Ask for a scarf. Slow down there, honey. Let's get to know each other. Flirt. Yes, lady. Okay, put your lips up to the screen. I mean, sure. Look, Scarf. The sweat stains are still visible. Flort. Flort with lady. Ask for soda. Just a sec, man. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be right back. I'll hit that thing I didn't offer you. I hope that you remembered to invite yourself to have a drink because if not <laughs> you're in uh you're in trouble okay so once we've asked her for a scarf ah uh, i'm sorry drink ask about scarf show me scarf show me scarf yeah i usually show the scarf only to my closest friends i guess it's okay okay here's elvis's scarf i'm sorry the king Spill soda. Spill soda on scarf. Ha <laughs> ha Well, now you've done it. She'll probably have to wash it, but before she figures out washing it might remove the magic killing powers, I suggest leaving. Is that right? Was that my puzzle? Hmm. Okay, I think that's what I was supposed to do, gang. So do we scram, do we vamoose, or do we sayonara? Three things that aren't necessarily synonyms. Scram! See? Okay, so we spilled soda on the king's scarf. And there it is. He's hung it out to dry. From here? 
time fence. Recalling the skills you used as a child to peer into neighbors' windows, you prepare to scale this mighty obstacle. Get a scar. Maybe you'll have a chance to put some of your own sweat stains on it. Now <laughs> cheese it. Climb fence. All right. We've done it, gang. We've gotten a scarf. Now, why are we getting a scarf, you might be asking yourself. And why do we get a cake? All of this is part of a process that will ultimately allow us to disguise ourselves as the king. Something that I'm not sure the game has told us yet uh, that we need to do. So, that's what's happening. They would have an idea why we just did that. Yeah, it doesn't tell you yet that you need to be disguising yourself as Elvis. But, you know, it's not a bad idea to always be maybe disguising yourself as Elvis. This game is like someone who never played adventure games, tried to make one, or someone else described it to them. That's not a bad description. Hey, Neo Venom, good to see you. It is definitely Larry inspired. Lacking some of the Larry charm, which is already dubious enough in, in the first place, but it is definitely going for that Larry vibe. Oh, wait, that's not where I go. Never mind. Okay, now I think we want to take a ride. Right? I think this is right? Maybe you should have been more careful where you were going. Here we are in Las Vegas. I love a text parser. Even the ones that aren't the best. I sure was faster than the bus. Oh, sweet. Is this really what it's gonna be? I don't see helmet here. Look, mailbox. I wonder if things mailed from other places end up here. Opened. Look in mailbox. Inside the mailbox is helmet. Get helmet. Now, if you're just joining us, you might be wondering what's helmet or who's helmet. Well, he's the world's smallest man, and we've been carrying him around ever since we gave him a dream that we stole from a security guard at the television station where we work. It was a sex dream, and we took it from him, and we gave it to Helmet, and now he has something to look forward to in life. He was very depressed, like a lot of people at the circus, now that I think about it. But we fixed that problem, and now we mailed him here to Las Vegas, and uh, we're carrying him around again. Yeah, we didn't address him to any particular location. We just dropped this very tiny man into a mailbox and then just hoped he would end up where we we're going. He ended up literally like 10 paces from where we landed. So, I mean, this is pretty lucky. Okay, what am I doing now? Again, I'm cheating my way through this. This is a game with a ton of dead ends. So, I'm trying not to, uh, not to take anything for granted. Okay. Let's do a save. Yeah, there are lots of dead ends. And dead ends that would really require you to be able to read the developer's mind. Uh, pretty <laughs> pretty basically. You need water to survive in the thermos or you can't survive the desert. Hey, this desert music's great. Its eyes suggest that the rending of meat from your carcass might be a fun activity. Oh, it's ringing. Answer phone. Viva Lost Manly's not bad. Following your philosophy of you never know, it might be for me. You decide to pick up the phone and see who it is. Oh. Oh, hello? Hi, Les. It's me. Stella! I'm sorry, Stella, why are you calling me out here in the desert? 
Remember I said I'd give you a call later? Besides, Steve wanted an excuse to show another picture of me. I can see that. Well, I've got to go now. Good luck with your search. Bye. Thanks for calling. Sure, anytime, Les. Steve is the designer of the game. And I guess the joke is here, he has wanted one more opportunity to show Stella. It's a potatious face. Water desert thing makes me think of Gold Rush. Ooh, you know, I've, uh, 321, I have not played Gold Rush on stream. Uh, recently, my pals over at Adventure Tuesday, uh, let me give them a shout out. Uh, great stream to follow. I uh, completed it. So, dropped by P.S. Garrick's channel. Uh, they've been streaming uh, more recently, Dagger of Amon Rob. You should be able to find the VODs for Gold Rush over there. Okay, now I think I just go back to town. Is that right? Drink water. Phew! Phew! I'm glad I brought this water to drink. Not only does drinking it quench my thirst and clear my sense of direction, it gives me more points. Yeah, you're dead if you don't have water. Make sure to find the boot before you make it to the desert camp. Yeah, you know, I do wonder if that was sort of an effort to joke around with some of the self-insertion of Sierra designers into games. Ooh. Look, monorail. Is that what that is now? I guess it's just like a cool... Oh, look at that. Moving sidewalk. That's very Leisure Suit Larry too. Is that what I was supposed to do? Oh, there's a high roller. Alright, we're in a casino. Go up and then to the left. Says my walkthrough. Up, up, up. Left, left, left. Hey. Look at this. Cool bar. People oiled like sausages. Lust so thick you can gather it into a pile. But don't stay out here too long. You know what? You be raised. Due to your skin. Yeah, the music's not bad. The music throughout this game so far has been uh, pretty pleasant. Ooh, the girl. Look at Fabulous, it says. I'm begging I need to go over one more screen. Just so thick you can, so thick you can gather into a file. That is a choice of words. I mean, I get what they're going for. Look, man. Yes, it's him, Mr. Fabulous. woman. You seem to be annoying, Mr. Fabulous. Please get no autographs. Get lost in your answer to Vito. Take it, that's Vito. Hmm. Get lost, kid. I think you pushed your luck too far. Oh no, Vito. Oh, uh, he ripped my head off, and then he spat down my neck, and then he put my head back on backwards. Aw, oh, beans. You can't go on living that way. <laughs> Vito. Okay, <laughs> what do I actually do here? Um... Okay. Get lost, kid. All right. Waiting for a call from his agent. Whoa! Wow! This is exciting stuff. Hey, Tawi, welcome in. Glad you could be here. Thank you so much for the raid. Let me give a shout out. Everyone, be sure to go follow uh, Tawi. Great streamer. Um, always fun. Plays lots of retro uh, games, as well as some newer stuff. Uh, you'll uh, you'll enjoy their time uh, there. Uh, what were you playing this evening? Thank you so much for the raid. What retro game uh, were you all having fun with? Hey, thanks for the follow, Mets Life. 
Welcome in, Raiders. I'm Jess, Decaf Jedi. Uh, I like to stream retro adventure games. I do it every Wednesday night. I also uh, mix in a lot of older and newer games as well. Hope everyone out there is having a good time. If you like these sorts of older games, drop a follow. Tonight we are playing a not great one called Search for the King, Less Manly and Search for the King more specifically. This is uh, a 1990 uh, parser driven adventure game that in some ways is trying to capture the lightning in the bottle that the Leisure Suit Larry series itself consistently failed to capture, only doing it uh, with much less success there. <laughs> so, hey, hey, Laura Lively, good to see you again. Howdy, everybody. Oh, Mario 64. Yeah, I saw that when I was uh, right before I went live uh, that you were in Mario 64. Good times. Are you speed running or, or exploring or 100%ing or just hanging out in Mario 64? Because honestly, it's the kind of game that I just like to go mess around in sometimes. It's just such a such a wonderful game still. Okay. Go back to our lobby here. So what we're doing in this game as Less Manly is we're hunting for Elvis. Um, if we can get a photo with Elvis, we're going to win a big contest and win a lot of money. Unfortunately, Elvis is dead, so, so far our quest to find him has been met with limited success. Use phone. Use, use. This isn't another Half Dome game. There's a Sierra disc. Try to do the 120 stars. Final 30, not bad. I never got anywhere near that. Call Mr. Fabulous. Bernardo finally gives in to your persistent nagging. He picks up the phone and relays your request to the hotel operator. Mr. Fabulous, wipe courtesy telephone, please. That's how Bernardo sounds. Talk phone? <laughs> this phone doesn't appear to want to talk right now. Uh, oh, that's it? That's all we need to do? Okay, sweet. All right. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Okay, what do I do now? I'm cheating through this game with a walkthrough mostly because it is notoriously full of dead ends. Okay, this is fun. We're gonna sit here. Sit chair. From here? This game is uh, cruel with its, uh, with its parser. You get Mrs. Fabulous. After taking a seat next to this gorgeous creature, she finally seems ready to acknowledge your existence. Well, there you have it. You're making me so hot. I've got to do something to relax. Yikes! I just have to do something to cool myself off. Oh my goodness. Well, there you have it. Um, get sunglasses. Gee, now you've got some cool shades, just like the ones he used to wear. Let's see what sort of sunglasses Elvis used to wear. Nice shades. Look like they're fit for a king. Okay. So we got some shades. And now we have something closer to an Elvis costume. Um... Okay, we're looking for an elevator, and then we're going to elevate, as one does. Okay. All that for sunglasses we could have bought somewhere. Uh, Paul, this is an adventure game. Like, we'd be carrying cash, and even if we were, like, we could exchange that for goods and services. Whoa! You don't see that, huh? Look, photo. Look, man. 
Read sign. Mr. Fabulous' show schedule. There's Mr. Fabulous. Okay, just press any button, Les. It'll probably be fine. Looks like a cart full of room supplies to me. Search cart. Oh, wait. Let's see. Apply a towel, soap, disinfectant, and a skeleton key. Get a towel? The building leads to increased room charges for everyone. A public service announcement from the Hotel Association of America. Uh oh. Let's see here, what do I need to do? So I'm upstairs now. <laughs> Look in bathroom. I think in the bathroom are a sink, a bathtub, and a toilet. Look sink. Among the hairballs and scope scum lies a container of floss. All right. Get floss. Now you need his earwax remover and nose hair clippers. You absolute gross boy. Not really. Don't waste your time looking. Okay, now no one will disturb you. Is that real? Okay, there was a the walkthrough said that there would be a do not disturb sign on your door. That door is, as you can see, completely obscured by a curtain. There's no way to know there's a do not disturb sign there. The sign door. Okay, it's back. I wish you'd make up your mind. Wow. Mmm, that's not a good joke. Ooh, less manly. Oof, oofs in the chat. <laughs> Oof. Woo. Okay. Okay, this is wild. This is really wild. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Oops, now you create extra work for the maid. Wow, what do you do? Stand. Les is now on his feet. Is he though? Stand up. Nope, he isn't. All right, well, I think that... Uh, it, uh... Get off bed. Nah, leave it on. <laughs> That's pretty impressive, honestly. Ah, blank, blank, blank. Yes, thank you, Sunfell. Walk. The word walk isn't even this adventure. Stand up. Les is already on his feet. Get up. Wake up. You're awake. Don't worry. <laughs> Stand. Less is already. I think it's just confused. Let's try this again. Okay. Wow. Okay. Get sign. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. Thank you, anonymous gifter. Thank you so much. That's so generous. We have five anonymous uh tier one subscriptions going out kobold underworld velociraptor paul not pat mike clam g Gervon. thank you thank you so much 
mysterious gifter. Wow, thank you. Too kind. Okay, now no one will disturb you. Flip sign. Put sign on door. It's back. I wish you'd make up on your mind. <laughs> yes, thanks to the Anon big fan. Absolutely. Oh, no. Oh, no. Whoa. Hello. Nothing's moving me. Wow. Okay, this is buggy. We're getting bugged out. Okay. Get sign. Flip sign. Again, the fact that you can't see this sign is just wild. Put sign on door. That's only sleeps in his own bed. This is now on his feet. Okay, maybe that's it. Yeah, maybe we should do a different order of events. Okay. Good thinking. Fall not pat. Let's see if this makes a difference. Sit. Stand. Nope. All for hell. Get. I'm sorry. Get up. This is Ari's feet. Huh. Well. What we think? Do I quit and reload? The sign of the door is probably what's keeping her out. But still, no matter what order I'm doing this in, it's, uh, yeah, not letting me do it. Wow, let's quit and reload. Oh, man. Now I'm worried about this. Okay, let's just shut down our emulator. Actually, we probably just reload it. Okay, fingers crossed. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, if you if someone can check this on YouTube and let me know. Okay, I've seen this all before. Yeah, just let me into the game. Just let me into the game. Let me into the game. Maybe it's the cycles. Oh, no. My computer's just too good for less manly. Okay. Sit. You suddenly remember that your lunch plans include picking up some spare parts. Okay, so the copy protection triggers again. Strange. Cycles 300 work for most old games, if that's the issue. Huh. Let's see. Mine are set at 3,000. Yeah, 3,000. Mine are set at 3,000. Hmm. Yeah, 300 seems a bit low. But no, I'm at 3,000 already. Maybe we'll load to a different screen a little earlier. Let's see if maybe just restarting this part of the game got, does anything for us. Where were we at here? Have we already gotten the sunglasses? No. Oh, man. Oops. Okay. We'll get to see this horrible death again. 
Everyone close your eyes. Pop. It's the real time that's causing trouble. It's going to be truly sad if I manage not to be able to finish Less Manly. That's going to be a, <laughs> a real tragedy. Mr. Fabulous, swipe courtesy telephone, please. Try shutting the door as well as flipping the sign. I don't think I did. Maybe we'll try that next. The door that you can't see. Well, we'll get this cheesecake shot again. Okay. Hey, Grundy. Yes, it's less manly. You're here just in time. Uh, we seem to be locked out of a puzzle that we have to complete to move forward that may be a timer issue, so... Ooh. This is whatever is on GOG, so I'm guessing it is the most updated and ready-to-go version out there. There are two basic bugs, this one and the crash and early naughty version. Okay. It's gonna break my heart if we don't get to finish this game. I really needed this to be something that I could get closure on. Two. Pardon me. the maid is cleaning. Okay. Every long play you put that, this sits this area almost perfectly in the middle of the game. Oh no. That's scary. Oops, now you've created extra work for the maid. Yeah, I think that we may just be bugged out here, gang. It did the thing where it teleports us out here again and locks up the the ability to walk. Oh wait, the game thought I walked over to the elevator because it's opening the elevator. Wow. Oh wait, Paul Not Pat says there might be a fix. No, I can't walk anywhere, pickled dog. Paul Not Pat, if you can fix this. You know, I have one simple request, <laughs> and that is to have sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. You know, I have one Here? simple request, <laughs> and that is to have sharks <laughs> with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> huh, save it when it's bugged, restart, and then load that save. Okay, let's load the save where it's already bugged out. Okay. Casino. That should get us there. Okay. Sit. Stand up. Les is now on his feet. Save. Save. Bugged out. House of Buggin'. Okay. 
Now we're gonna foul. Split. Split. And then we're going to reload it. Doot, 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 I've seen all this before. I'll see it all again. You know, NBA Dag, one of my favorite things back in the 90s would be when I was watching NFL games and Pat Summerall and John Madden would have to throw to House of Buggin on Fox coming on afterwards because there's nothing better than hearing like Pat Summerall say, coming up next on Fox, we have House of Buggin. And then John Madden like, that show sounds great. <laughs> okay. Oh. Paul, not Pat. I think you may have saved the day. That may have done it. Nice. Okay. Nope. Can't move. Of course. <laughs> Still can't walk. Oh, man. We caught our chickens, and yet they had not hatched. <sighs> hey, Speed to Palma. Aw, oh, beans. Oh, this is before we flip the sign on this on this save. I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's let's teleport us back out here again. Yeah, this was a pre-sign flipping. Sa Wait. Nope. So, it is detecting me moving around. Uh oh. We may we may have done it. Uh-oh. Flip sign. Put sign on door. Actually, I should say, because this is probably important that I get this right, we may not get another chance. The maid seems upset. Oh. With the stealth of a panther, you snatched the key from the maid's cart. Woo! Gang, we did it. Against all odds, we did it. Okay. Don't forget, oh, did I not get the floss this time? Hey, thank you, Nick. And thank you everyone who helped out on that. Paul, not Pat, the whole gang. Thank you all for uh, for giving me some hints to work with there. Do we have... Okay, we do not have the floss. We did, it, team. It takes a village to play a video game. And uh, this village is playing an awful one tonight. Okay. We've done it. Having acquired the hotel skeleton key, you're now able to go to places henceforth unreachable. Henceforth? Yeah, that's not how that word works. Okay, we have entered a new zone. We have entered a uh, leopard print, or I'm sorry, zebra print maybe, I don't know. Uh, part of the game. And I don't know if there's a lot of game left. Um, this is probably a good place for me to pause it and call it a night because 
it's getting a little late here. I don't know if I have another hour or so in me. Now this game has broken me down on an emotional level. So I th- there's not much more. Okay, Richard, you know what? I'm going to keep going. I'm going to soldier for it. I don't want to call myself a hero. The word hero gets thrown around a lot these days. Richard, you are the world's foremost expert on this game. Um, I will. <laughs> it didn't take much. Oh, gosh, there isn't. The, the walkthrough is just a few more commands. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Okay. Okay. We're going to do this. We're going to beat this game. We're going to beat this ding dang game. Not Godspeed. We're back, baby. Jacuzzi. <laughs> Besides the drain, it's squeaky clean. Look in drain. There might be something stuck in there. However, the drain is too small for even your wimpy wrist to fit. Hey, you remember how we're carrying around a human being in our pocket? The world's smallest man helmet. Let's put him in the drain. Oops. Put helmet in drain. From here? Path plus to helmet. After you extract the final length of the plush from the container, you gently tie one end around the waist of the world's smallest man being careful not to pull it too tight, thus severing him in two. Put helmet in drain. Wow. Wow. Oh, just, oh. Helmet has returned. He brought a receipt with him. And it's a claim ticket for... Um, <laughs> can't go up the stairs. Uh, claim ticket. Oh, wait. Oh, you need the floss. This is hilarious. I'll allow it. Otherwise, you can't win. Of course not. Get floss. Done. It's done. Where'd they get that tiny little suit? I'm a little teapot. You're asking the important questions. These are the questions that need to be asked. So I guess we got a tick, uh, claim ticket for the laundry downstairs. Is that right? Look, ticket. Good for, oh, wait, that's the wrong one. Okay, press button. Close enough. Okay, we're going to beat this game. Nothing's going to stop us. The only break from logic in this game, you're exactly right. Open door. Well, hello, Susie, Suzik. A close-up of Helmet and his little suit on the ticket it was adorable. Now, I mean, it kind of was. I don't know how I feel about the whole Helmet thing. Look, lady. Susie, the cleaning girl. You wonder if she goes... Okay. Um, give ticket. Ah, give ticket to Susie. Give the free ticket to Susie. Oops, that's not the one. Do I need the... Uh... <laughs> right, Nora, this game is supposed to be inspiring. You should watch this and you should think to yourself, um, you know, anyone can do this. Ah, clean receipt. Give receipt to Susie. I like that she'll just take inventory items. That's really great. The clerk pays little attention to the fact that you've shown her a seat almost 20 years old. She goes in the back and brings out a gold-laced white jumpsuit worthy of a king. Oh, man. Get a suit. Well, since you had the receipt, it must be your suit. Goodbye. Going somewhere? Leave. Okay. <laughs> I got caught her with that one eyelid, like, halfway down. Um, okay, so... Oh, wait. Ask about King. Said to Susie. While doing my dissertation at Yale, I often used a modified Sicilian defense. I like to build staggered fortifications around him with pods. 
Then I'd get my bishops in a pile and sneak my rooks out the back door. Ask about the king. Wow. Okay. Well, the joke is, what if what if a woman <laughs> went to a Ivy League school? I guess. Yeah, we still haven't been told why we would want an Elvis costume. It's just, just like we have to take it on faith. This is something we need. Okay. Show your seat. Take the suit. Leave. Go outside the casino to the street. And my walkthrough says to thumb a bus. Hitchhike. Where's the bus stop? Although Les is aware of the danger involved in getting into strangers' cars, he knows he is safe since he this is only a simulation. Oh wow, this is long before people were saying that we might be living in a simulation. Hello. So do we have any reason to believe we can hitchhike there? There's a new emote. Wow. Hey, look at all that smoke. Those hippies were smoking the reaper. Fortunately, your body seems to have recovered from that trip just fine. Wow, this is like a uh, impressionist painting. The gates of the kingdom are before you, enclosed by a brick wall, lush green lawns, and immaculate landscaping. <laughs> Lead back to an elegant mansion. The king thought big. So, nobody asked for story time with Jess. But back in college, uh, my roommate, my freshman and sophomore year, was from Memphis. And at the end of our sophomore year, I traveled with him to Memphis uh, to just visit. I'd never been to the city before. And we went and we got to go to the Bill Street Music Festival, which is a fantastic sort of music and blues festival that they do every year. We ate some really great Memphis barbecue. Um, the one thing I wanted to do while I was in Memphis, though, was go to Graceland because, well, there's that Paul Simon song about going there that makes it sound really special. And B, you're in Memphis. You may never be in Memphis again. Why wouldn't you go to Graceland? And he was so adamant that it was just a place only tourists go that he refused to take me there. And I tried to explain to him, but I am a tourist. This is the one thing that tourists do want to do here in your in your lovely city. Um, and we never went, and I've never been back to Memphis again. And I haven't spoken to him in like 20 years. So there you have it. Not over that, but you know. <laughs> I will. I really wanted to go to Grace Lab. Um, open gate. Can't take a tour without a pass. Okay. Okay. Wow. Hey, look at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, this overhead map is a lot. Um, it says, walk over near the restrooms on the right to find Red's Bar and Grill. Okay. Oh, there's a park bench there. Wait. Can I really only walk on the paved areas? This spot isn't too interesting. Hey, it's Red, Red's Bar and Grill. Oops. There's one location on this map. Oh, my God. Okay, here we are at Red's Bar and Grill. This is where we wanted to be. Um, oh, this is good. This is really good, y'all. Um, I don't know how many of you are familiar with, uh, with Superman. Wear suit. Stepping into a nearby phone booth, you slip on the cool shades, zip up the sequined white suit, wrap the silk scarf around your neck, adjust the majestic cape over your shoulders, and attempt to look not too ridiculous. I mean, that's not too bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah, at no point did the game tell us that our goal was to make an Elvis costume. It just let us arrive at this conclusion 
organically, shall we say. Okay. Wow, we really are almost to the end. This is hard to believe, gang. We're going to beat less manly. If it doesn't lock up on us again. Speaking of which, let's uh, let's get a quick save. I still can't believe we got past that weird uh, problem. Need to be an authentic scarf. Why? Now, this is a great question, Paul. I'm sorry. This is this is very good. I need to get a screenshot of this. That has the that screams thumbnail to me. All right, Gless, it's finally here. The big chance, the thing you just found out about. Your mind races back to those days spent studying freeze frame stills of dance fever. <laughs> a popular Elvis video. You decide to pull out all the stops. Now, not hold anything back. Give them the whole nine yards. From now on, you're a lean, mean, dancing machine. Oh, he's even dancing to his own theme song. Oh, look at that. He's doing the Pee Wee Herman. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you very... And thank you much... Con and, and thank you much, contestant number one. And thank you much. I thank you much. I thank... Thank you much. I thank you much. It's one of my favorite Janet Jackson songs. Well, folks, even though we've only seen one contestant, I think we all know what the outcome will be. Here comes Les, your big break. Last place has been locked up by Lester P. Manley. Dead silence. Well, at least you didn't come away empty handed. As a consolation prize, the gates to the kingdom have been opened, especially for you. Was this the goal before or after giving up the dream to Helmet? Who knows? It wasn't even our dream we gave to Helmet. There's some guard who woke up with no more dream. How sad is that? Yeah, this goal is just brand new to us. Is this Graceland? Whoa! Sweeping spiral staircase, imported marble floor. This room screams of large injections of money. Pretty fancy for a townhome southern boy. That's the end of the map. This is a nice looking screen. This isn't bad. Okay. Okay, this is wonderful. This is going to be a good puzzle. So, look there. Don't worry, it's imitation. Wouldn't want <laughs> I'm sorry. What's wrong? Did I offend you? What are you going to do? Cancel me because there's a bare skin rug? <laughs> what, am I not politically correct? Wouldn't want to offend anyone. <laughs> Wouldn't want any snowflakes. <laughs> what a shitty game. <laughs> this is political correct. Just gonna get there you go. Yeah, that's right, Grandy. Are you triggered? Did this bear skin rock? Is wonderful. Oh, I gotta get a screenshot of that. <laughs> I'm just I'm sorry. Oh man. Okay, so here we go. Put helmet in bear mouth. Too many nouns, man. Put helmet in mouth. This looks like another job for helmet bean. <laughs> ah, bean. <laughs> the world's smallest man. So, um, the, the bear is part of the security system for this room. And by putting helmet in its mouth, you disarm the security system. There he goes. <laughs> Mission accomplished. 
Thank you, Nick. That did have super spy vibes to it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my body aches from this game. <laughs> I hope this game didn't give me COVID. <laughs> look. Just look. Oh yeah. Look. Paintings. The images are blurred for legal reasons. <laughs> look, records. I don't see any records here. There are literally gold records on the wall. Come on, man. Wow. What in fresh dithered hell is this? There's a more interesting way to get to the kitchen. Is there, though? <laughs> There's a more interesting way to get in the kitchen. There's why you do something else. Kick open door. We could come up with a reason for the door to be locked. The only way to wear the skies is there in the contest. That's right. Um, okay. This is... Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I see what's next. I see see what's waiting for us. We can do this. Hey y'all, how tall do you think the king was? Because I'm looking at his suit and it looks like it is a giant. Maybe you can lip sync. Maybe you can fake it. <laughs> Thank you for clipping that, man. Oh, wait. There's a gag coming up where you have to tap something specific, which was a screenshot on the back of the box. Very finicky about it. Interesting. Is that all I need to do? Let's see. So I got a microphone and a guitar. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here's what's happening. Look, guitar. Complete with the king's trademark, a broken string. Okay. Fix guitar. Using the length of floss that proves so valuable in getting you this far, you replace the broken string. Well, it's not really fixed, but then again, you can't really play. Don't worry, it'll do for now. The floss that we could have left back in Las Vegas, a location to which we can never, ever return. Okay. So, we could have gone through... Oh. Look bad. Heavy-duty construction. Still a reinforced box screen. Spring. where it's sexy isn't needed this adventure. God knows that's true. <laughs> so is this not the room I need to be in? Or do I just not see an obvious exit? Oh wait, no, we go back down. And, okay. We got this. We got this, gang. In no time, this game will be complete. That's stairs. B A N A N A S. See a drawer. Open cabinet. Open. Look in cabinet. Inside the bureau is a secret mechanism. <laughs> oh, a mechanism, you say. Hmm. Use mechanism. Use operate mechanism. Turn 
mechanism. I'll not turn a secret mechanism. Activate mechanism. Push button. Aha! <laughs> Go to hell, game. <laughs> You must have looked at the back of the box. No, I guessed that. So that's... Whee! Wow, look at those moves. Stop. Get off pole? Les is already holding it. Thanks. Wow. Release pole. If nothing catches the spirit of less manly, like accusing you of cheating when you solve a puzzle. Release pole was the solution, y'all. Okay. I got it. I gotta just cheat this thing on out. Okay. Slide down the pole, then release the pole when you get to the bottom. Walk over to the right end of the bar and open the counter. Walk over to the oven and spread butter on bread. Okay. Open. Open counter. Yeah, what is that flappy thing in a bar con? I was trying to think of the same thing, pickled dog. Okay. Put butter on bread. Inventory. Uh oh. Okay. Suppose it's ironic the accolade made this game. Since they surely received no accolades for it. Okay. Spread peanut butter on bread. Gee, if only you had all the ingredients. Okay, get bread. Bacon. Spread peanut butter on bread. Yeah. <laughs> Roberta Williams makes the sandwich. Yeah, we're making one of the king's favorite sandwiches, a peanut butter and banana sandwich. From here, oh, come on. Spread peanut butter on bread. From here, yes. Spread peanut butter on bread. Immediately arrange the ingredients. Soon your mouth begins to wire like a Pavlovian dog in anticipation of the feast that awaits you. <laughs> Watch the Zoomer stream. Oh, look! <laughs> There's a close-up of this! It's the first close-up of the game! If you couldn't imagine making a sandwich in your mind palace, here you go, team. Yes, I saw that earlier. Richard, I will absolutely do that. Burp! Okay, so you ate one sandwich. And now he has the uh, portly figure of the king. I mean, puzzles this game are one where you're supposed to go ahead, get blocked, and reload. Him. Yeah. That's what a banana sandwich looks like. Yeah, I mean, okay, Grayson, you did need to, your mind palace, couldn't conjure it. So that's good to know. I'm glad that uh, we could show it to you. Wow. This game, y'all. Okay, we're at the end, so let's save. This is like the final scene, I think. No, 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 Mike Clam. It never told us why any of this was happening. Uh, you didn't miss anything at all. So one sandwich with, yeah, I mean, it's a good sandwich. Um, okay, drop card. 
So you remember how we got the resurrection card back when we went to Madame uh, Zamuska and she told us our fortune and then we reached out to touch her and she turned to dust and vaporized like Thanos had just snapped her out of existence because she said she was all a dream. And then we pet the uh, lizard that was on her desk and the mechanical lizard slid a card out of its mouth and that card was a free resurrection card. If you missed that, then you go in here. If we didn't have the card all along, open door. So now we're back. We look like Elvis. Dance. Okay, it's time to rock and roll. See, now he's got the moves. Oh, do we have Hound Dog? Do we have Midi Hound Dog? No. Look, it's him! Uh-oh. Oh, man, stampeding fans. And that's how Les Manly dies. What a shame you made it all this way only to perish, trampled under a mob of crazed fans. Well, this is one ending, some believe in a hereafter. So, there you have it. We bit the green weenie. Uh, let's try this again. With our, let's see, look card. So we have, entitles the bearer, that means you, Les, to one free resurrection. Now again, you could have totally missed this earlier. This is something that, yeah, you'd really have to know is here. Gotta pet the lizard to have a chance to win the game hours later. That's exactly right. Okay, so this time we're going to do the same thing again. Doom, boom. Doom, boom. Doom, doom. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. I'm a hunk of hunk of burning less. Got a hunk of hunk of burning less. Got a hunk of hunk of burning less. Got a hunk of hunk of burning less. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hunk of hunk of burning less. Got a hunk of hunk of burning less. Okay. Is there a hint for anything in this game? No, not really. That was my new song, Hunk of Hunk of Burning Less. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, there he is. Look, he's ascending unto heaven to sit at the right hand of God. <laughs> hey, Neo Venom, thank you for dropping by. Glad you could stick around. Hey, there's John Belushi. There's Janice Joplin. <laughs> oh, no. There he is, the king. Look, Doctor, I think he's starting to respond. There's Nancy. Welcome back, Les. We thought you'd lost you for a while. Hey, where'd you get that? So while we were in heaven, we took a photo of the real Elvis, the king. And we take it back to our boss to win the contest. We ain't got the cash. What can we do? Les did figure out a way for the station to pay off the contest. And now after taking over his owner, president, and CEO, he has turned into the highest red station in the country. The stunning Stella Hart still works for the station. Now she's Les's personal assistant in charge of raises. Wait, do we have a camera? No, we didn't. Colonel Bob, so, oh gosh, we have a catching up with everybody. Colonel Bob sold controlling interest in his circus to an entertainment company that wanted to diversify. So, entertainment software company. He now manages his own chain of savings and loans. Angelina Zarmusco was sucked into the spirit world during a particularly intense ball reading session. She's racked up a small fortune channeling mortals. Helmut Bean, after several close encounters with some adventuresome southern bells, did prove that dreams do come true. He signed on as a spokesman for a leading breakfast cereal company and is now the host of his own talk show. Mr. Fabulous never did get that call from his agent and quickly found a showbiz obscurity. He spends most of his working day asking, did you want cheese on that burger? All these characters you loved so much. <laughs> hey, Marl Recordings. 
Yeah, Grayson, it's not great. It, it's not a great game. <laughs> Vito, oh wow. Vito gave up his life of crime and now spends his time playing Nintendo. Bobby, you remember Bobby? Bobby finally realized their obsession with the king was absurd. She now lives in a small commune in Arizona, awaiting the arrival of a Venusian space transport. Lila Libido is training. Or Lila Libido. <laughs> to be continued. That's a threat, baby. <laughs> Oh, wow. Life <laughs> Manly will return. Do, 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 do. Is that just it? There's no, like, credits or uh, or anything? It just loops on this animation to the end of time? Ooh. That's it. Wow. Gang, we did it. <laughs> we made it to the end. <laughs> I'm blessed, Manly. In Search of the King. Thank you so much for playing my game. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out with me during this game that I can't really say was great. I mean, I guess the music was pretty decent. The graphics weren't terrible. <laughs> oh, wow, Scrub J, welcome to the Hall of Fame. We've got a ton of uh, redemptions there all at once. Wow. <laughs> welcome. Thank you, Scrub J, for tuning in and being part of the streams. Thank you for joining the Hall of Fame here. We did it. We finished Less Manly. Coming up next week, as I said, I'm going to jump into... Uh, what was I going to jump into? Oh, yeah, Sam and Max Save the World. Never played it before. Should be an exciting good time. Should be better than this. And uh, let's see, what else is coming up? I'm thinking probably tomorrow night. I may finish up Alpha Protocol. We've been playing through that and have now reached the finale there. Lots of exciting things coming up. So uh, thanks for watching along. Thanks so much for... Being here through a bad game as moral support, as emotional support, as spiritual support, as we entered into the afterlife together. Uh, thank you for the support, uh, for the cheers, for the subs, for everything else, but just mostly for your company. Now, before we call it a night here, good stream, okay, okay, I'll take it. Uh, let's see, where can we raid away to? Let's take a look. Ah, this is perfect. Salon by the Sea. Um, one of my favorite new streamers is streaming Space Quest 2, one of my favorite games. So let's maybe raid over to there. Everyone tell her Jess sent you, say hello, drop her a follow. And in the meantime, thanks again for hanging out. I'm going to call it a night, and I will see you all again soon. Thank you again, and welcome to the Hall of Fame, Scrub J. Take care, everyone.